Welcome to Magic Arena's saltiest event. Or that's what I think, because the stakes have never been higher. There is the chance at 12 wins to win a card from every single standard set. First place gets it. Second place just gets every card in uh, Throne of Eldraine. In the practice run, I went 10-0 with this deck. Let's see if I'm even half as lucky today. So I'm going to choose my deck. We are going to play... Where is it? This one. Any Simic Food. It's called Any because it's play, play Any Deck. So I just named all the decks that I thought about playing uh, Any. So this is it. We have four Gilded Goose, four Leaf Kin Druid, two Paradise Druid, three Oko Thief of Crowns, a uh, new Planeswalker from the set. Pretty cool. One Questing Beast. Four Shifting Ceratops, two Wicked Wolf, two Tamio, two Cavalier Thorns, four Nyssa who shakes the world, two Agent of Treachery, two Voracious Hydra, three Hydroid Crisis, and one Mass Manipulation as a big spell to really close out a game with. The mana base is as follows, um, you know, blue and green stuff with some temples and whatnot, and these, uh... Castle Garenbrig, because, I don't know, seems like a good card to me. So, yeah, that's the deck. It is what it is. Um, I don't expect a lot from this video. Whoops, I didn't actually choose the deck. There we go. Submit it. I don't expect a lot, but I figured, hey, let's hit the record button and see what's happening. I haven't made a video in quite a while, and, uh... It is what it is. I'm sure many people are not going to get the 12 wins and they are going to lose it, which is why I say it is the saltiest event yet to grace this um, game. So without any further ado and without me stalling any more, I'm going to hit play. There we go. First game. So... It's either to 12 wins or 2 losses. Here we go. First opponent. Neon Archon. Fellow Karn. Let's see. Not the greatest starting hand. But I'll keep it nonetheless. Start with Tap Breeding Pool. I fully expect to be roped to death. Um, potentially for my baby to wake up and for me to figure out what the heck to do with my footage. But that's fine. Going straight into the Leafkin Druid. Top deck doing magic work for us. So I can play Oko next turn. Slow start from the opponent. Let's see if I can punish them for it. Alright. Um, I will need four blue if I ever draw mass manipulation. Otherwise, it looks like I'm playing Oko. So, I'll need three green for Cavalier. One, two, three, four mana is possible this turn. Do I want to fill my graveyard? I think I want to jam Oko. I'm going to play the island. I see no problem with that. Opponent potentially has a shock. There we go. One bite, and all your You are fouler than a fiend. They shock the Oko. It seems like a potentially weak play to me, but we'll see if they can finish him off this turn. Royal Scions. Not a bad card. But my brother knows Let us plan for the trials ahead. I'll be able to play Cavalier this turn. Um, I could turn my food into a creature and get in three damage this turn. Probably to the Scions. What's their ultimate? 
Draw four when you do deals damage equal to your cards in hand. It's not terrible. We'll get the Cavalier on board, though. And get that good old Temple of Mystery out. Uh, island off the top is not what we need. Alright, turn our food into an elk. Yes. Tasty elk. Surely you see the humor here. Get away from me. Interesting voice lines from uh, opponents Planeswalker there. What nobody yet knows. So this is a deck that I kinda do fear. It runs the uh whatchamacallit? The Phoenix. Ooh. Alright, so I can turn their creature into a 3-3 elk. That's not a bad play. I could have this fight it. This would come down as a 4-5. And that would kill the drake. Right? How much mana do you produce right now? Four more creatures. So if I do this, I have four... What do I want to do? I think I will turn it into an elk. So we'll turn you into an elk, which means that I want to play Nyssa. If I play Nyssa, what does that mean? Should I use the druid so I can... No, I wouldn't be able to afford Tamiyo. I... Oh, I would. Yes. Okay. Nope. I wouldn't be able to. So we'll do this. And just like that, we won our first game. <laughs> Opponent just concedes. Wow! They were so quick to give up. I wouldn't think people would be so quick to give up in this event. Alright. Won my first game. Eleven more to go. This is kind of nerve-wracking. That was a deck that I was probably not favored in, because as soon as they start getting the Arclight Phoenix, I start hitting the bottom of the barrel. It's not looking good for me the moment they start getting those Phoenix out. So once they get them out, they can get them out a couple times. I like this hand. Hello, says the opponent. I'm not going to return the favor. Orzov... Hard sleeves. I probably am playing against an Orzov deck. Vampires? Question mark. Well, here's my creature. Wicked Wolf can go and kill this. Yes. As long as they don't play. Yeah, you don't have anything to sacrifice there. I'm not taking two damage for no reason. You make a green, correct? Correct. So we do this. We do that. We fight you. Boom. Big threat gotten rid of. Next turn, we shock for Nyssa. Nyssa is going to shake their freaking world. Hmm. I could throw away the Wicked Wolf onto the Orzov Enforcer. Or if they attack with the Enforcer, I can block it. Ooh. You may regret that. Heavily. You may heavily regret doing that. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Three damage with the Vigilant Land, and get out the Leaf Kindred. Next turn, I can probably turn their Enforcer into a 3-3 Elk with Oko. And then follow that up by playing a Beefy Hydra the next turn. Or Oko would be what? One, two, three... Reanimate one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be a three, three crisis. 
Yeah, you can go ahead and chip away at her. I don't think they have a buff. White does have a couple instant speed buffs, but I'm not too afraid of it. Okay, that sucked, but... I don't need to ultimate Nissa, I just need to be as annoying as possible. Alright, so we need a blue, green, good. Get down the Oko. Then I'm the gonna food. animate the breeding pool. Behold, true power. Oh, you make two now. Alright, so we'll get in our damage. Boop, boop. Then we'll turn you into an elk. <laughs> then you that. The humor here. So that makes you a 6-6. Six, six. There we go. Oh, I could have had a 7-7. Seven, seven. How did I do that wrong? Doesn't matter because I got a goose. Oh my gosh, what a turn. What a turn. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How can you... This is the power of this deck. It's insane. How can you compete with this? Watch them absolutely destroy us with Akaya's Wrath or something crazy. Plague Crafter. I will sacrifice... A druid. I thought about getting rid of the goose, but the goose could be very useful if I get that wolf. Um, I hate to say it, but your creature don't have death touch no more. Alright, one, two, three, four. Animate land, play ceratops, smash the face. Easy. Easy, easy. This is going really well. What is this? I don't know this. Spinning wheel. Oh, it's that three mana. Mana rock. Whew. All right. Two wins and it's looking good. I'm not going to lie. It's looking good. I watch me just choke and lose the next two games. But man, that is why I made this deck. By the way, like. I did, for what it's worth, I did homebrew this deck. It's not a very original idea. It is stuff, bits and pieces that I've seen um, from the last meta with Nissa Simic. But, you know, I did make it myself. Look at this curve. One to three to four to five. Not bad. All right. Gonna keep... Oh, Temple does make it awkward, but I should be able to get there. Goose. I will goose you back, my uh, fine opponent. Oh, when I hit him with that questing beast, it's not going to be pretty. Hmm. What am I going to do about my mana situation, though? If I want to resolve Oko next turn, which I probably want to do, I'm going to have to play the castle and get rid of the food. I feel like Questing Beast needs to be impactful. If I get rid of the food, then I can't get the Questing Beast down after Oko's down. So we're seeing Bant from the opponent. Okay. Probably bounce my food token. Which is going to mess up my game plan with Oko. I'll protect you. That just means I resolved the Temple of Mystery. Okay, Leafkin Druid. 
I feel like I'm not going to have time to play the druid. I need to find more land. And then to throw the opponent off, I like to hit him with the honk. You mess with the honk, you get the bonk. You're a true winner if you're hitting people with the gilded goose. Now that may seem silly to do. Remove my blocker and do that. But I have gotten people to return the honk. Thus tapping their blonker, blocker, blonker, thus tapping their blonker for, uh, you know, not being able to stop a questing beast or a hasty ceratops. This game is looking less and less likely to win. This is looking rough. Turn their honk into a 3-3. Alright. Trust me, I have a plan. I wouldn't have blocked anyway. So I don't know about that play. A very odd play. Let's see, I can get Oko to five. Go down to two. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Yeah, I don't think I want to turn my honk into an elk yet. I want to hit this fourth mana. If I can hit him with the questing beast, it's really going to mess things up. How, wait, how does this read? Power three or less. So I can swap my food for their goose. But their goose gonna, is going to hit my oko, so it's not going to matter much. I'm not going to be able to do that next turn. Unless I block with the goose. But then I get a 3-3. Three, three. And then I might as well have turned my goose into a 3-3. Three, three. Is that a bad play, though? Give him a food. Take a 3-3. Three, three. Lose my goose. Keep my oko. Keep the pressure off of me. Wicked Wolf's going to take out my goose, so it's not going to matter. Uh, I can make a mana. No, thank you. So I'm going to really need to top deck a land at this point. Welcome to the feast. No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay, let's see if they smash the Oko. If they smash the Oko, I can't do the Swippity Swap. Yep, alright. Why uh, do you cross me? I could turn the the wolf into a 3-3 with no meaningful abilities. So I missed the lamb drop after all. This may be a loss for me, dog. Could turn the food into a 3 3. So I could play the druid, turn the food into a 3 3. Or keep the wicked wolf a 3 3. It's not terrible. So we'll do this. And I think I'll turn my food into a 3 3 to block the goose. Let's broaden your existence. If I attack with the food at either Planeswalker, they sacrifice this food to give the wolf plus one plus one and indestructible and block my creature and wreck my life. Here I have an opportunity to get to my four mana questing beast. If I smash them in the face, it does 4 damage to each of their Planeswalkers. No, to target Planeswalker they control. So I'd be able to take out Teferi or drop down the Oko. Using the minus 5 on the Oko... Wait, how'd they have 3 loyalty on that? Did they really... What? I thought they were at 2. Well, they killed their Teferi. 
They can't do anything to the Paradise Druid. I could... Oh, this is terrible. It's not poison. If they both attack the Oko, my Oko goes down. I need to resolve the questing beast. They have a board that can block it very well, though. I'm gonna say no blocks. I see you don't share my vision. All right, five mana. Five mana, I can get a cavalier. It's gonna be a solid play for a while. The Wicked Wolf will eventually be a problem. But if the Cavalier dies, I get whatever back. Sure, I'll get a forest. What did I lose? Alright. I got a good mix of stuff in my graveyard here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more land, and I can play the Agent. With the Agent, I can do all sorts of things. Luckily, Oko cannot swap my Cavalier with their food. Yes, power three or less. They can, however, steal my Paradise Druid, which makes me sad. And then, do they dare bounce my Cavalier? They get in a lot of damage. Alright, that's a trade-off they're willing to take. Trying to think, Questing Beast would do quite a number on them after. Goose! So they'll have a blocker. I want to hit him with that Questing Beast so bad, but it's probably not a good play. So I'm now two mana away from my Agent of Treachery. And I'm at five life. Mass manipulation. Let's see. If I'm at five, I can't block enough, can I? Uh, I need two mana for the food. I think Nissa's my best bet here. Turn you into an elemental. And I think I'm dead regardless, even with the life gain from the food. Missing that mana and losing the Oko really did me in. Losing the Paradise Druid too. Oh, they let me just take out their Teferi. This is hardly my worst defeat. I guess we'll end the turn. What are they doing? One mana do a thing? It's your gilded goose that's hanging up our triggers here. Alright. Looks like I'm losing a game, people! Here it is. I went 10 and 2 in the practice. Ooh, alright. Yeah, that, that does it. And put on that does it for shirt. sure. So I block one thing. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Yeah. That'll do it. Good game. Ah, oh, painful, painful, painful. Painful death. That's how it do. Alright, let's see if I get another win. 
I'm very happy with with the first two games. I honestly can't complain. I am very happy with that. I do think this deck is very capable of winning the event, but if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know? I'll keep this hand. It's a little shady with two lands, but the double leafkin druid makes me feel a lot better with it. Plus, resolving that wicked wolf can be very impactful. We have Nissa in hand. One mana, assuming I don't lose these two druids, one mana away from playing her, so we'll do it. We'll do it. Come on. What you got? Fiery Chandra card sleeves from Robe and Slippers. We draw the land. Very cool. Alright, sticking with Gruel. No third color yet. What in God's name is this? It's a knight that can't block. One defense, huh? I don't like this. Yeah, I'm not interested anyway. So I can resolve my wolf and get rid of this stupid thing. Not sure how I feel about that. Ugh. 5-4 will put an end to this nonsense. They could shock it, of course, but... You know, I'm, I'm not putting up with this. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So this takes me off of Nyssa, but the lands that Nyssa makes don't trade well with these knights. Are they knights? Yeah, they are. They're dwarf knights. They've got to have a shock, you think, right? If they attack, it's a clear sign that they have a shock. It's a very weird deck. Not one that I would expect to see. Not a very powerful common card, I'd say, either. Alright, Gruel Spellbreaker. Do they dare bum rush me? No, they don't. Alright, so I can shock the breeding pool. Get out Nyssa. Uh-huh. Let's make a little buddy. Let's see, a 4-4, four, four, huh? Getting sick of their creatures. I wish I had a food to make Wicked Wolf a lot better in this position. Nissa has to take a hit from the Spellbreaker. It's not the end of the world. I wish I had some sort of Hydra in my hand. I have a lot of mana next turn, and I don't have anything to dump it into. The Hydra that fights would be pretty cool, too, because that could get rid of some of this crap. Going face... Bold move. Alright, do I dare take seven? Sure. What do you got? You've definitely got a pump spell. I feel like I'm taking more than seven. And I feel like I'll have to use my creatures as a resource. Okay. Your creature still dies for now. Ooh, that's, that's a, that's a beefy boy. Alright, we're going to need a blue from this. Then we can go ahead and animate. Then we can go... Blue, blue, five, six, seven, 
Agent of Schmetchery. There we go. Take away that. Go to combat. Hit him with the free six damage. And then... Wicked Wolf the crap out of this stuff. Uh-huh. Just, just get rid of it. Get it gone. I don't want to see it anymore. If they attack with him, more than happy to throw the agent in front of this stupid dwarf knight. The agent is going to serve me better in the graveyard than on the field. Because if I get Tamiyo, I can... I can... <laughs> eventually. I can potentially, eventually, play the agent again. We're close to uh, ulting with Nyssa. And I'm dead, just like that. Knocked out of the event. Well, people. I went 10 and 2 with this deck in practice. And here, I went 2 and 2. Absolutely garbage rewards for me. I get the card sleeve and two rares. Both from the new set. We got Giant Killer and we got Midnight Clock. Very cool. Free prizes. That is it. That is it. Uh, I really like the deck I played. I do believe it is capable of going the distance of winning. Very much so. No sideboard yet because I haven't uh, honed it for best of three. But that was that for sure. Out of respect for this deck and how well it performed in the past, I will craft it. The eight rare wild cards and three mythic needed. Boom. Very happy to have this deck. Very happy. Maybe I should have blocked. Maybe I should have traded sooner. It's hard to tell. Uh, I probably could go back through the footage and pick out. I, I think that turn that they attacked and I said that I would take the seven... That was probably the turn that I should have brought block more heavily, and maybe I should have also done an earlier block. Uh, maybe played the Druid instead of the Leafkin. Hold on, let me let me see the creatures' names. I should have played the uh, Paradise Druid instead of the Leafkin Druid because the Paradise Druid could have traded with the Dwarf, and I had plenty of mana dorks in my hand. Or maybe I should have jammed out Nissa. And traded a land for the dwarf. That's probably not a good play. That's probably a play I really don't like. Uh, maybe I should have traded the Ceratops for the Gruel Spellbreaker. Like, uh, played Wicked Wolf and just sh shoved it into the dwarf and thought nothing of it. But their, their pump and dump strategy worked well for them, so... And then that Bant deck just simply just got the better of me. They're on the play... Um, I wasn't able to resolve any threats against them, really, and I got mana screwed, so it happens. It happens for sure. Unfortunately, it happened to me, and I did not win every set in standard. Er, the salt. Oh, I'm so upset. This game is rigged. Er, tinfoil hat. Um, hand algorithm. Stack needs a better name. I'll come up with it later. But thank you all so much for watching. It's good to make another video again. Um, it's nice to have thrown this salty event on a recording and show that I am definitely not capable of going the distance. But hey, it happens, right? Uh, it got some sweet sleeves and two rares that I probably won't use. But that is that, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye!